Today, I'd like to show you how to make a teddy bear out of real fur. I've never worked with real fur before, but I stumbled across the cutest craft op shop in Sydney and I absolutely adored it. I bought so many things and when I was there, I asked if they had any teddy bear things and they said they had a box. So as I went through it, it was like, yeah, amazing. Let's, let's try and bring this thing to life. Of you, Mum, you need to be put on your own YouTube channel for once. It is real fur. And I've never ever worked with real fur before. And I'm not a vegetarian, and I'm sorry to all those who are. However, I do believe if you're going to eat meat, you may as well use all of the animal, not just the meat part. And I think that this is a really beautiful thing. And I asked the lady, did she have any teddy bear making supplies? And she said, yeah, she had a box. And I was going through them, and I'm like, oh, these are like pre-cut, real fur, ready to be made into something. Look, that even looks like a, a tiny teddy bear head. So I'm not sure if all the pieces are in there. I estimate these might have been cut about 30 years ago. All the pieces are there and I particularly like the way that the, the arms and the, the legs are cut because they've been doubled up which reduces the amount of stitching that you have to do. However, on the legs I decided to cut down into the back of the leg because that's where I prefer the opening to be. So I just cut a little bit in the middle of, of that part there. It's still a very cool design. The ears. The body's fine. I sew using a strong thread, using blanket stitch, pulling hard but not hard enough to rip the leather. I decided to start on the head just to make sure that it was going to work out for me. Here we go, all sewn up. I've left the, uh, you know, the openings to be able to turn, turn them in the right way. And I'm about to make some little holes to put the joints through. And I'm really hoping that he's cute. You never know until you turn them out, but yeah, let's check it out. To turn out real fur you have to be a little bit more uh, gentle than faux fur as it can rip the leather when you're turning it inside out. But this was uh, quite flexible, the, the backing of this one, which was good. Here I am poking the holes where I'm going to put the joints through. It all seems to be going really well. I've done it nice and tight so you can't see my, my stitches from the outside.
Once I've inserted the joints, I use some pliers to separate the split pins and slowly curl them outwards into like a butterfly kind of shape. As I'm doing that, I press it down so that the, the joint becomes then nice and very tight. A little bit hard to see, but just curl it and pull it and push it down. These split pin joints are definitely uh, one of the easier varieties as they're um, nice and easy to get tight, the same as the, the click on safety ones. The bolt ones I find a little bit more challenging because you have to hold both sides while you try and tighten the joint. For a much more detailed teddy bear making video and pattern, uh, check out my other videos because I have a full 36 minute one and also a video on how to make a polymer clay nose and also a teddy bear with the, the zip in the back which uh, you can hide secret little things in. Sorry for the terrible video quality here but you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm just uh, twisting these uh, split pins into circles uh, going outwards and pushing down and, and pushing at the same time. That's what tightens it. Time for stuffing. I always try and find uh, secondhand stuffing either from like old pillows uh, or cushions that people don't uh, want and I find at op shops for very cheap or little scraps of material also works. Sewing the head is a little bit difficult because once you've stuffed him you need to then insert the joint and close that hole up by stitching it all together and you need to pull hard enough to join it but not to pull through the leather. So just be very gentle in this stage. You then need to make a little hole at the top where the neck would be and then insert the joint from the head and then put the rest of the, the joint on the inside and then you can curl it round and then the head is connected. Ear placement is super important on bears as it really changes the personality so I have a good play around first to make sure that I'm, I'm happy with where I put my ears and then I take one single stitch and I place one ear where I think it should go and then before com fully committing to that I put the other one on and make sure that I'm really happy before stitching down the ear and, and getting fully committed to that shape. There he is, all finished. I'm really super happy with how he's turned out. He doesn't have eyes or a nose yet, but that's something I'll do later as I wanna get some really nice glass eyes and I have to buy them in. I'll probably make a polymer clay nose, but uh, here's what he'll look like, kind of. One of the bags of the smaller teddy bears that had been stitched together by someone else, and you can see here that they just hadn't pulled tight enough. So it's super important to be able to hide the stitches and I might try and redo that at some stage, but in any case, uh, this little guy is pretty much finished.